Good morning, modern steaders. It's supposed to rain out today, but you know what? That's all right. You know why? We got the barn on the roof. <laughs> we can be working undercover today. I love it, guys. Oh, that barn is going to give us so much more opportunity to do projects. <laughs> Especially in the winter time here at Lumna Acres when we get six months worth of winter We'll be able to build projects inside. Good morning. Yes There's old CWC. She's waiting for you. What did you unbury out there? That's red and green Let's toss this and go see Yeah, what did they find for us, huh? What is this? It's a train. I ain't got no food for you. They found a little kid's train. Think you're ready, huh? Are you ready for breakfast? climate weather we have here at Lumna Acres, having this barn oh, is going to be so nice when it's raining out, when it's snowing out, we're going to have a place to do projects and to work, we're going to have a nice high dry place for the animals this spring, Oof, with such a wet muddy spring, I felt bad for the animals having to deal with the mud and everything, now the barn being in its new location, if you have any issues like that, that's high and dry. We can't get them out in the pasture because it's too muddy. It's all right. So you have a nice high dry spot for them while the weather passes. I had a lot of people asking why we did concrete floors in the barn stalls. Because at first I was talking about doing dirt gravel floors. And that's the biggest reason. Is this past spring was so wet. Everything was damp. Even in here, it wasn't like super damp, but I was afraid that we were going to keep getting water in the dirt floor and that was going to get damp. And then the more damp it is, the more concern there is for bugs and lice. Because moisture is what gives a good habitat for all those animals. So I said, you know what, with this past spring we had, I'm going with a concrete floor in the barn stalls. It's easier to clean up, it's easier to keep dry. So that's the reasoning for the concrete. Ready to get down? I left some stuff in the milking stand for you. We'll let the girls know that a treat comes in the milking stand. Huh, Willow? This time next year we'll be milking them too, huh? supposed to rain out so I'm gonna keep your hay inside this morning okay I'll keep it in there yeah. That's where your hay's gonna be like all right we're gonna go eat we're gonna go eat huh we're supposed to get any more work done well you being so sweet huh how am I supposed to go get the rest of the chores done huh huh go ahead go have some hay So glad we got that roof on yesterday. That rain's coming in. They said we had another hour before it comes, but I don't know. The sky's not too promising, and it's starting to spit out. You have to hurry up, get the chickens fed, and then get some of that trim work down to the barn. So that way we can start doing some inside work and start trimming up some of the doors and windows, guys. The CWC over here? Nope, not yet. Moose, where are you? There you are, morning Moose.
You hunting Tanner there, Figaro, huh? You guys ready to go in the house? It's starting to rain out. Ooh, the rain's coming down good right now. Let's be quick and get the Kubota. And I'll go grab all the trim work we need. Ah, I was hoping we were gonna make it before it started raining. better we didn't lose any of the six by sixes I was kind of driving like a madman all right now we need a bunch of trim work I might as well just grab what we have and get it down below under cover since we have dry storage now this is all of our batten for the kit Put it under one of the eave overhangs. Looks like window trim WT would be my guess there. More trim work. Let's get this all down below. That's what we're gonna be looking for today. No, we're not gonna need this stuff today. So I'm gonna cover that up with a tarp, or a plastic, I should say, I guess. Over here, we're gonna have a bunch of trim. Let's get this all down below. I'm not too worried right now about having it organized on the trailer. I just wanna get it down where it's gonna be dry. down there. wide long board but we don't need that right this minute I'll save that for later let's get this one on that's that one that's a 1 by 12 by 144 inches so that's a nice 12 foot wide 12 that's a nice 12 foot long 12 inch wide board I'll save that out here for now and that's all shorties yeah we got all shorties right there and then our vent. Awesome. 
All right, that'll work for what we need today. This will be our next rainy day project right here, the garage door. But we need to get some trim installed first before we can install the garage door. that rain hitting the tin roof. I love it guys, I love it. Put all of our batten in one area. Let's get the trim in under cover. trim work. I had to go in and change. I was soaking wet. I'm glad we got a nice dry place to work today. Oh, this is going to be nice. I'm going to be getting spoiled. All right, now that we have all of our trim inside and dry, let's find some pieces that we need. So we're going to need three 105s. One's 110 inches long and two of them are 96 inches long. So 105, 110. My guess is it's these right here. Let's see. 105, 96. So that's the first one. It's going to be some trim work. My guess is this is another one. Uh, 105.96. So now we gotta find the longer one, which should be this one. No, maybe this one. 106. Okay. How long is this one? This one's 106. 106. 104. 104. This might be it right here, I bet you. We want 105, 105, 110. So this is, these are the three pieces we need next. I hope you guys don't mind the relaxing sound of the rain on the tin roof. Let's get our air compressor plugged in. I want that small stage in, in here. Maybe. Ooh, 34 and a half. 29. Woohoo! It's gonna fit through the door. We don't gotta take it outside. That rain is bringing in the nice cool air. And I cut out this six by six, but not today. I like that. Gonna want our clamps over there. This is the final trim works. So we wanna be fussy as we're installing it. Can use this one. We need our nail gun. Note to self, we need to get some more nails. Or if we don't have that much left, you can always use hand nails. So we're gonna get a little wet. We need to trim off this excess here and this little bit of excess here. But we're under the overhang, so I think right now we might actually stay dry. But right here, so. Let's set our gauge for just over an inch thick. It is time for a new pencil. All right, 
Let's see how far. Down there we have half inch. At three quarters of an inch. All right, we'll snap a line. Have our chalk line. Nice, we can see that nice. finish that up with. All right, takes care of that. Now we just need to cut it here. Ah, I like it. It's nice. Starting to rain a little bit harder. Let's get the other side done. This side we have seven eighths. Measure it once we get up there. Seven eighths. Uh -huh. We got to get the door trimmed out before we can install the garage door. I need to get all this done first. Oh no! What happened there? Oh, bummer. What the? Oh, it just worked fine, guys, a minute ago. Uh, nope. Oh, I guess I better go grab another one. I don't feel like taking that apart today and fixing it. All right, that'll stay there. The worst part is it's raining good. We gotta make a run for it. Ah! Let's see, we got a blue one. It's got blue in it. Ah, uh, those ones don't have an end. So we'll use the blue one. All right, let's try this now. They don't break this time. Right there. Boom. Let it rain, sawdust. There we go. Okay. 
yes we went a little above but we got trim work we're gonna put here so once we have the trim work on that cut mark will be hidden let's have a drink and wash down some of that man glitter that should do it Flush there. All right, let's grab, keep our hammer here. Grab clamp. Now let's get this nailed and we'll work it as we go. I want to keep it flush with the outside siding. So we are tight here. Right here it has a little bit of a bow. So I'm going to use my clamps. I use my clamp to suck it in. I like that. All right, are we flush? We're good there. Let's go down. I wanna nail it roughly every 16 inches. smidge more right there that's perfect nice nice that's gonna look so nice once we have this all trimmed off broke the front the other day the handle snapped right off That works. Okay. That'll do that. All right. Oh, you're nice and flush. Here, we're tight there. I like that. Nice and flush still. This is where we start coming out. bigger clamp for the rest of it. It's got more leverage, better power. Not sure if we do it here. I bet you that'll help. All way. Perfect. Let's give that staple a tap. This staple was holding us down just a whisker. Get a nice tight fit. <laughs> Flush. 
Flush that up nice. That move. Nope. This one over here, like so. But it should be about a half inch high if we flush it up to the bottom. And we wanna leave about a half inch reveal on the sides. There we go. Set this one flush to the bottom of this trim board we just put in. About a half inch reveal. I like that. it up here nice perfect I don't know if the camera's gonna show it or not but this trim board in the center bows down. So I'm gonna nail the ends. And then I'm gonna take a clamp and we'll suck that up. This. I wanna match the reveal. Right there, I like that reveal, it's straight. That looks nice. That reveal is nice and even all the way across. I really like that. Let's start on trimming out the transom window. Put these pieces here and up here. And I believe I need to trim one board up top. Oh, let's do this. And let's do this. Unfortunately, it's still yucky out, so I can't get the drone up. All these boards are either flush or a little high. This one is down a smidge. There. That did it. Set that right here. So now, these boards, I wanna say we should be, these are 10 and a half, so this should be 12 and a half. So we should have two inches, and we do. All right, so, so that's gonna go like so. Let's clamp it. One inch, that's one inch, one inch, one inch. Let's do the same thing to this end. So let's mark an inch here. One inch, one inch. I got a little bit of Wayne. So I'm gonna hide Wayne on the back up top. Nobody's gonna see Wayne there. Right there. That should flush up on the end like so. This one should flush up 
Yep, like so. Yep, that being said, we should be able to take the tape measure, have one inch, one inch. Let's do this. when the clamps come in super handy. stuff we can this way. All right, let's get this one up and check it before we nail it. Underside. Let's do this side first. Which this side we're actually gonna come down. We're gonna flush there. Oh, they are sweet. I think I should wait to put the transom window in until I got the garage door up, just in case something happens. I don't want it going up there and breaking the window. There we go. It always amazes me how much slower the finish work goes versus the first general roughing and framing and all that fun stuff. It seems to go a lot quicker. I have our my ideas for what I want to do with the barn and the farm. What do you guys think we should do with the barn and the farm? What, what, what are some things you'd like to see happen at the farm? Be interesting to get your thoughts. Leave it in the comments down below. Thanks for coming along on this journey with us, guys. It's been a blast building the barn. We're not done yet, but man, it's nice to have it all closed in under a roof so when it rains like it did today, we can still be doing some projects. Uh, it seems like we've been living in a rainforest the last two years or so. So this is going to be a huge blessing to have a place to work in a nice dry area with some concrete floors for the animals. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.